This year is one of the most competitive seasons in the history of the World Endurance Championship. Challenging for the championship this year, there are the usual suspects at the pointy end. Well, Le Mans is such a difficult race because, it's, uh, first of all, it's 24 hours, so the longest TWC race that we, that we do. If we don't count, don't look the results, the season was amazing. We were always the fastest qualifying and then also in the race. What's the goal for this year? <laughs> to win. Endurance racing is a team sport. Yeah, the team is the most important thing in the end runs because when you can trust everyone and uh, for example when you go off the bike you have to speak with the engineers, with the tire engineers, you go for shower. So in the meanwhile someone bring you the food, someone prepare your helmets and then you have the, the physio, you have a time to rest and someone have to come 10 minutes or 10, 15, 10, 15 laps before your mate comes in for the change to tell you, mate, get ready, get dressed up and get ready for your next stint. In a WC, the team is really, really important because uh, all the people work uh, for the result, like in sprint racing. But uh, in sprint racing, one, in the moment that the race starts, the rider is alone. The team has done its job. But in, in endurance, it's different because during the race, they are actively competing on, on the race because they have to be the fastest on the pit stop. They, they have to repair the bike as quick as possible in case of a problem or in case of a crash. So they, they are there. They have to choose the strategy. They have to choose the tires. So they are really working with us. And uh, together with us, they stay awake. And uh, together with us, they win. Yeah, you know, uh, if you compare uh endurance racing uh, to the sprint races there your teammate is the first guy you want to beat and uh, you know in endurance races your teammate is your best friend because uh, he brings the bike to you you know the guys uh, which you're sharing the bike with i guess uh, the this is the most important thing to have good relation because uh, you need to trust them 100 uh, percent about the comments of the bike of the track and uh, you don't have much time to share this information so it's good to spend a lot of time uh, also on the track together and uh, learn this stuff. I mean, qualifying is now more important than before because since two years we get points for the qualifying position. So the first one get five and the fifth one, so the first five get the points. Five points are not many, but it's still something. And uh, happened to me in the past to lose the championship for just one point. So I, I know the importance of every single point. It's nice to be on pole position, to be on pole, even if it's a completely different mentality than what will happen then in the race. Because in the race, uh, you have different strategy, different mentality. In, in the qualifying, you, you have the uh, possibility to show yourself, to, to ride for yourself without thinking too much about your teammates. And then the average of the three makes the, makes the result. Our engineers are preparing the little bit extra map, a little bit faster bike, Bristone a little bit uh, softer tires for this extra lap and we are of course squeezing ourselves for this extra chance. The start position at the end is not important as like with the sprint race because you have 24 hours time to recover. I mean just uh, two qualifying makes uh, it's a special feeling because you get nervous, it's adrenaline and then you have just seven tire stickers for two qualifying for three riders which you have to think about which uh, tires we, we use. Then we have to check the temperature because the first uh, qualifying is in the afternoon where it can be very hot. And the second is in the morning where normally it's cooler and you have more power with the engine because you have uh, less temperature. And uh, it's difficult always to manage everything. 
but uh, I think everyone loved this these moments and uh, I love the qualifying mood and uh, go out and set a very fast lap time. I'm Robin Mulauser, a Swiss rider and fourth rider for the Yacht Yamaha Racing Team in 2022. The importance uh, of a fourth rider is that you have someone in case of an emergency, in case of, uh, of crashes or even COVID now, it's a, it's a thing. And someone you can trust in that has experience of the bike already and uh, also experience of the races. And uh, that's where I think it's very important to have a rider maybe like me because I, I've done plenty of 24-hour races and I know Yamaha, uh, Yamaha Bike Air 1 really well, so for sure it's quite important to have a force rider. It's pretty tough because um, yeah, I put a lot of time training, also riding by myself. And for sure, when you come here, you never know if you race or not. But uh, in case, as I say, in case of emergency, I'm always ready. And for sure, even if you are false, you have to be ready uh, because if you have to jump on the bike for 24 hours, man, uh, you got to be ready physically and uh, it's a long, long race. And uh, for this, for sure, it's tough for me. But uh, in the end, I'm always ready if anything happens. I did a quite good lap. You, you just gotta hit your marks your braking points, your turning points, and uh, try to use the soft rear tire to the maximum. It's amazing to be on pole position for the third year in a row. Uh, we've always been the, the best team, uh, the best riders, the best lap times. We, we really worked hard. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't achieve what we deserved. We had a lot of bad luck in the last few years, but I saw all the Yard team, Yama, and all of us who try to improve in every area, try to don't commit the same mistakes or to have the same trouble as the last few years. <laughs> Oh, 
Bonjour à toutes et tous, bienvenue, welcome to All of You, ladies and gentlemen. This is the press conference after the qualifying sessions for the 24 hours moto. Here is in pole position for the third time in a row at uh, Le Mans. Riders in this year 2022, Karel Anika, Marvin Fritz and Nicolo Canepa. Andrew Pitt uh, is the team representative. Yeah, it was amazing, you know, we have a perfect uh, package for the qualifying. We have new, new tires, uh, which are working pretty well. And uh, yeah, overall I could uh, find a good place uh, in the traffic and uh, make a very good lap. I'm really happy it was the best, but most important, we feel good uh, during the long runs and the uh, team is doing a great job. Bike is working well, so we are here for tomorrow. Today is nice, but uh, you know, it starts tomorrow. Pit stop in endurance racing obviously is, is very key to the success of a, of a result. Every pit stop um, we change tyres, we change riders and fuel. But every sixth or seventh pit stop we also have to change uh, brake pads. So that uh, that adds another dimension to, to one of the pit stops. Well, during a 24 hour race, it's three pit stops. Get a little bit more difficult because the brake pads come into it. As you can see, the lap times, they are, they're the fastest guys on the track, but uh, safety cars come out and we've just lost half a lap, so that didn't work in our favour. Boys are doing all they can do, so these things, we can't predict these things, and other bikes braking, so that's it. expected just uh, the starting problem of the bike we didn't expect but uh, at the moment we had no problem so far 
and uh, all is running great, team works great, riders are good, all perfect. Yeah, we're, we're on target, everything's going well except uh, we're stopping more regularly for fuel. That's the, that's the advantage Suzuki have over us. Suzuki are doing two, three more laps than us every run, so that's the problem for us over, over race distance at the moment. is working really really well and uh, this allows us to, to be the fastest on track uh, all the time so this is uh, this is really good of course after 20 I don't know many hours 21 hours <laughs> we start to feel a little bit tired but uh, one more thing to go fingers crossed